Insightful podcasts by informative hosts. Insights into Things, a podcast network. Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. Welcome to Insights into Teens. This is episode 60, Grandparents. I'm your host, Joseph Whalen, and my mature and responsible co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi. How are you doing today, Maddie? Pretty good. So we're recording a little off schedule today. Um, This one's kind of recording ahead of time. We have to take advantage of the scheduling availability of our guests that we'll have today with us. Um... So this is about grandparents. Sadly, uh, your biological grandparents are no longer with us, uh, which makes it difficult to interview them today. Yeah. Uh, Fortunately, your adopted grandmother is here with us today, Miss Barbara Exposito, uh, otherwise known to us as simply as GMA. How are you doing today, Barb? Doing good. (laughs) Thank you for joining us today. Um, I think we're going to have ourselves a very good show today. Yay. Maddie has some questions. Um, I think we'll just uh, get right into the questions. Ready to go? Yep. Go ahead. All righty. So the first question we got was, who was your best friend when you were a kid, and what did you like to do together? Oh, my best friend was Jerry Pinner. We used to go down to the dock and fish. Fishing? Fishing. We lived pretty close to the beach. Oh, nice. So we'd be able to walk down. With Very our cool. And with our fishing poles and bobbins, we fished for, I guess, I don't know what, flounders. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's a fun activity. Yep. Okay. All righty, next question is, can you tell us a little about where you grew up? Where I grew up? Lots of places. <laughs> Part of it clearly was by the ocean. Yeah, first 10 years by the ocean, and then we moved to um, Glenwood, then out to Missouri. We were up in Missouri for a few years, and then back to New Jersey. So, grew up kind of all over the place. Now, why is that? Did your family just move around, or was were you... Was it a military family? Like, that happens a lot with military families? It was my father and his job. Oh, uh, okay. Like, we got a promotion. I got you. You know, we had to go where the money was. Right, right. So, that yeah. makes perfect sense. Yep. All righty. So, the next question is, do you enjoy having such a big family? Such a big family? Yeah. Well, you do have a fairly large extended family, right? We do. Yes. Very much. The more, the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everyone's welcome. Love them all. <laughs> yes. All righty. That's good. Um, were you named after a family member, or does your name have a special meaning? I don't believe so. Um, I think my mother said she was expecting a boy, and then I was born. She named me Barbara Ann. No, I don't. I wouldn't think I was named after anybody. Okay. 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 <laughs> All righty. Next up, what was, your fav- what was your favorite subject in school? Religion. Religion. Yeah. I wasn't really good at, in school at all, mm. but that I could kind of relate to. The fact that you had religion in school. Oh, is- Catholic school. Okay. Okay. I mean, I started off in public school, but then as we moved, I went to the Catholic schools. What was it about religion that... It grabbed your interest. Um, the trouble with moving around was that every school you went to, you were either behind or ahead of the kids. Mm-hmm. But religion was consistent. I uh, think that's what it was. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Little yeah. little balance. Little yeah. black and white there. Yeah. You know, sinner, not sinner. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Catholics are good like that. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, 
Do you, did you have a favorite toy as a child? A favorite toy, yes, my stuffed animal, Poochie. Poochie. It was a little dog. Interesting. Stuffed yeah. dog, Poochie. Do you remember who gave it to you? Probably a Christmas gift or something. Okay. Yeah. Poochie. Alrighty. That's funny. <laughs> um, when you were my age, what did you want to be when you grew up? A wife. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a wife and mother. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you're better than me. I really have no plans for the future. <laughs> okay. That's so, okay. Sometimes that works out best. You're open. So, so I guess I won't ask, what do you want to be when you grow up, Munchkin? <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, I have just, I'm, we, I've been using my talents just to do it, but we can move on now. Okay, let's move on then. Alrighty, <laughs> this isn't about me. <laughs> that sh well, shut me down there. I'm just saying it's not about me. Okay, fair enough. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Being with family and quilting, sewing, being co around colors, creating, using my mind like to create things. Mm. That's mm. what makes me happy. And the beach. I, a lot of things make me happy. My cat. You're fortunate, you know. Not a lot yeah. of people have that many things that make them happy. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of things that make me happy. Nice. I work. That's good. Good. All righty. Uh, next up is what, is what is different about growing up today than when you were my age? A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technology, of course. Mm. Yeah. And um, the culture. You know, how prevalent racism was then oh, yeah. and how we try to, you know, steer away from it now anyway. Yeah, we unfortunately. Great job with that, but it's it's still there but still prevalent but not as obvious. Pe yeah, people are more and, aware of it now. Yeah. yeah. It's really bred into you kind of. Yeah. So even when I was a kid, it, it mm -hmm. you know, my father was extremely racist. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you grow up, you know, now they grew up in a time, you know, they came they lived in Camden. And, you know, in the 50s and 60s, that was when you were getting that large urban expansion in Camden. And there was a lot of racial tension that was going on in the in the 60s mm -hmm. at the time. Yes. Um, so there was a lot of racism at the time that, like, I don't think my father would be able to exist in today's society because mm -hmm. of his mindset, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. good answer. Alrighty. Um, we're moving on to a different segment of questions. Okay. Should I do a transition? Do you want to? Sure. Why not? We have the technology. We might as well use it. Alrighty. So this one is about grandparents. So this can either be short or long. <laughs> it depends. So were your grandparents around when you were a child? Yes. So, four grandparents, one of them died when I was five, my mother's father, but my mother's mother, my grandmother on the Polish side, she was in my life, like, for a long time, till I was, like, 20. Oh, and nice. She made me feel very special. On my father's side, um, my grandfather was quite the character, and we were very close, and his wife actually i always called her brahia for some reason i didn't know really that she was my grandmother till i was an adult that's funny <laughs> but they never referred to her as a grandmother sure but sure. i was lucky i had the three grandparents you know who always treated us all very nicely yeah, yeah. that's right. nice so now we're going to go a little deeper into the life of grandparents. <laughs> now that we're safe to ask further questions <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you already discussed about one of your grandparents. How are the how were the others? How were they like? My other grandparents. My, um, let's see. My father's father. Well, they had like seven kids, and they built their own house with like they poured concrete when they poured the foundation, twelve inches thick. Right. The concrete. Okay. Built this very Building a castle, strange were they? house. <laughs> and in the living room, they had a pair of stairs that went to the ceiling. 
because it was planning for the future. <laughs> Second floor, which never happens. <laughs> and he was he was a character. He would play in rough house with the kids and you know. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was very funny. My his wife were here who was my grandmother. What I remember about her is she laughed a lot and her eyes she were always kind of squinted. We weren't sure if she could see through them or not. Uh, you know, as a little kid. Yeah, yeah. But we yeah. had a lot of cousins. So that's what made the holidays nice. Nice. You know. That's funny what you remember about your grandparents. Yeah. They're yeah. very special. The, from, the, from the perspective of someone very young at the time, you pick up yes. strange things. Yes. Yeah. Good question. All righty. Next up is, how is it like being a granddaughter? How, how is it? When like, you were a granddaughter, what was it like being a granddaughter? Like, were you doted on? Well, especially my one fondest memory of my mother's mother was that she used to, I used to dance for her. You know, when I was like five or six. Sure. And oh, she made me feel like a very special ballerina. Oh, you're so nice. beautiful. <laughs> nice. So that's, that's a very special memory there. We had a lot of kids, but we always, you know, felt special. That's nice. Yeah. My grand, I used to sing Elvis for my grandparents. I used to do Elvis impersonations. <laughs> so that's what I remember. Mm. Anyway, moving on. It's not about me, right? <laughs> Wonderful. Um, <laughs> what were some things you and your grandparents did together? We didn't really do like trips or anything like that together. Um, I think because there were so many grandkids, it wasn't like that. It was just we would go over to their house for holidays or whatever, and that's when we would see them. Didn't spend vacations with them. Although, when I was saying for the first 10 years, I lived in Blank Cove, like by the beach, and my grandmother was always at the beach. So I would look for her umbrella and always uh. go over to her and she'd give me cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so it was worth visiting her. It's the little things, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so the final um, question in this segment is Did you enjoy spending time with your grandparents? Yes, I did. Well, and more so with my cousins. <laughs> well, because when, when you when, when you, you would see your grandparents, grandparents. It, yeah. you would see the whole family, yeah. the, the larger you family. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Alrighty. Should I transition here? Do you want to? Yeah, let's transition here. Alrighty. So this segment is questions about being a grandparent. So, how many kids do you have? Children or grandchildren? Children, grandchildren coming next. Oh, how many kids do I have? Yeah. Two. Okay. Who are they? Oh, Christine and Roger. Okay. Just that wasn't in there. You're ad-libbing. <laughs> Stick to the script. Hello, you <laughs> ask questions all the time. <sighs> Go ahead. Next up, how many grandkids do you have? I have... Um, five... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty pretty bad when you can't count, you know, can't remember how Discern. many. Discern. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, next up, did you carry on the same activities when you were kids and when, uh, Did you carry on the same activities with your kids and grandkids that your parents and grandparents did with you? No. So no. what's what's different with how you more interactive? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think I found the same thing with my grandparents. Like when when I would go to see my grandparents, because my grandparents never came to see us. You'd always go to see them, right? And it was a respect thing. Yeah. When you went to see them, it was very reserved. You would sit, you would talk, you would have maybe have a meal together, and that was it. Yeah. Whereas you know when my mom was around with you and with your brother, you know, we'd go places, we'd mm -hmm. do things and, you know, you'd do crafts with them and stuff like right. that, you know, and yeah. that was kind of where things went. Yeah. And now with, with you, you know, we come up and we see you for uh, lunch occasionally. Mm -hmm. We do uh, holidays and stuff like that mm -hmm. together. So it is, it's, yeah. I think it's a cultural shift. Yeah, it's a different it's a different time too because my grandparents were coming off the depression. Yeah. You know, they didn't have money. Yeah. And um 
they worked. They didn't really go on vacation. At least yeah. My grandparents didn't. None of them like vacations or anything. So yeah, and and by the time I came around, my grandparents were retired, so mm. they were on a fixed income. Right. You know, so they didn't. Like, you would go over there if they needed something. You know, mm-hmm. it snowed. We'd go over and shovel for right. them. Um, and occasionally they would do host like a 4th of July or something mm-hmm. like that. But uh, they weren't the interactive type of... And, and my dad wasn't really interactive even with us. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think that's sort of a cultural thing that's changed significantly in the last 40, 50 yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Good question. Alrighty, next up. How was it when your parents became grandparents? When? Were they excited to be grandparents? Were they... Oh, yes. No, my, were you... My parents. Were yeah. you the f- first... Like, yeah. do you have siblings? Yes, I you have do. two brothers. Okay, so they had kids before you did. My one brother, had yes, had child for... Yes. Okay. And my parents were really, really good grandparents. They did a lot with the kids and, nice. you know, more like what, you know, what we do with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were, yeah, they loved their grandkids. Yeah, good. All righty, next up, how did it feel when you got your first grandchild? Um, heaven. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone. <laughs> so your fa- first grandchild was? LaRana. LaRana, right. Now, was this one where... Like I can, I can honestly say, your maternal grandmother uh, was very interested in having grandkids, and you were her first. Um, were you that way? Were you anxious to have grandkids, or was it kind of a shock to be a grandmother? Um, it was a surprise. Okay. Yeah, Lorana was a a surprise blessing. Can I ask? Were you? I know. There's a certain age that people are okay being grandparents, and before that, it, it tends to wear on them. Were you at that point where you were okay being I a grandparent? I was fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy to be a young nice. grandparent. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> trying, to, trying to ask that question without asking age, you know? Because <laughs> I was in my 40s, so, you know. People yeah. are different about that question. Even yeah. if they're older, they don't want to be called grandma, grandma. I welcome it. Nice. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> All and, it, and it fits. You are an ideal grandmother. <laughs> if, if we could pick a grandmother, <laughs> and we did, <laughs> you are the grandmother. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, sweetheart. Alrighty. So, do you enjoy spending time with your kids and grandkids? Oh, yes. Yes, always. And what are some of the things that you do with the grandkids? Well, I had a Mira over for the weekend. Nice. Three-year-old. Oh, she's at a oh, great God. age now. She is at a good age and took me two days to recover. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. We went to the aquarium. Just you and her? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, we did a few things. We did crafts. Of course. Talking about crafts. Yeah. You know, with the older girls, it's a little harder now, but we would get together in Philly and go to lunch or whatever. Yeah. But, um, it's, you know, they're big now. Yep. <laughs> I know. They grow up so fast, don't they? They grow up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> okay. Next. Alrighty. Next question is, do you see your kids slash grandkids often? Um... Not, well, not too, like the older grandchildren I don't see often. My younger set, set because now we have a new little grandson. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I've seen them more often. Yeah. You know, Roger will drive down. Well, well he won't now because he has the baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I said let me take a mirror for the weekend because I hadn't seen her. So he, he would come down like once a month. Okay. It's a little hard with the distance in everybody's lives. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Real, you know, life tends to have a way of catching up with you yeah. real quick. Yeah, that's for sure. So you see them often, but probably not as often not as you'd Not as much like. as I would, but yeah. life happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All righty. So uh, this is the final question in this segment, Daddy. <laughs> I'm ready for the transition. Okay, cool. So what's the best thing about being a grandparent? 
the best thing is playing with and being with, and then they leave and you have no responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the definition of a grandparent. Spoil the kids rotten, and then they leave and you don't have to deal Just with it. <laughs> enjoy them, and then see ya. Here you go. Nice. One. Nice. So we'll come back and we'll talk about uh, questions specifically about us. All right, so the first question in this segment is, when we are around, what do we typically do? We've kind of discussed a bit about this before, but... Sure, what are, what are some of the activities that you do with us? With you guys? Yeah. We're going into Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we met at the aquarium. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Some holidays, we'll which just, makes it very special. Yeah. Yeah. We, we meet breakfast. Breakfast at... Uh, yeah, we've done that multiple times. Yeah, when it's like been too long and I'm like, uh-oh, got to see them. Yeah. Going through withdrawals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, good question. All righty, next up. Can you tell us about any holidays we spend together? Holidays that we've spent together? Yeah. Oh, geez, we've had Christmases and Thanksgivings and Passover Easters. Yeah. Pass Easter, what did we ever call them? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't done uh, we haven't, haven't done, done that in quite haven't a done while. Passover but, done here in a you know, while. You know, things but, change. Right? You know, we're we're definitely good annually for Thanksgiving, right? Mm-hmm. Thanksgivings are fun. Yeah. Uh, Thanksgivings are crowded and <laughs> and <laughs> packed in like they should be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was only that one time that it wasn't really that crowded. Yes. Yeah. 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 But the the more crowded it is, the better, because yeah. I think that's yeah. Me you know, too. That's that's the ones you remember the most. Yep. So they are. Good question. Alrighty. Next up, what are your best memories with us? Do you best have any good memories with us? <laughs> 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 oh, birthdays! I remember birthdays. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we have birthday parties that we used to have. Yeah, we've had Gmod down for yeah, those. Yeah, when you were little. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why I don't really remember the one in the park with the when you had the. Video the, the game truck. Game thing. Yeah. Really, they just wanted to play on the swings or something. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> remember the truck. that. <laughs> we paid We're for paying the for the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. ready for your next question? Okay, I just did. Uh, well, you look like you're going to say something. Okay. All right. Next question is: Are you happy with the time we can spend together? I wish we could spend more time. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. should go to the beach sometime or meet somewhere at a beach. Well, yeah, it's obviously. funny you say that. She just had her first beach experience on vacation down at Vero Beach. Yeah, like literally at 13 years old, my first ever real beach, beach experience. I mean, I've been on the boardwalk before. I know. But we're neglectful parents, aren't we? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was the first time I ever really went to the beach. I'm, I'm not oh. a beach person myself. Oh, okay. I have well, bad have, memories. You have to go when it's not 150 degrees and there's no wind well yeah you know the timing is everything and that's difficult because the weather can be different at the beach well see and i used to enjoy the beach because my family used to vacation down in wildwood and then i happened to be down there with my ex-wife and a group of friends at one point in time and wasn't conscious about putting on sunscreen and wound up with sun poisoning and suffered from that. So. Yeah, I had, had I had that happen too. Yeah, so I wasn't. <laughs> when I was like 18 or something. Since don't then, I've not been a big beach person. Don't you mean sunburn instead of sun poisoning? No, it was sun oh, poisoning because okay. it was like second degree burns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it, it's very different. <laughs> like skin bubbling off my yeah. back. Oh, bed. God, that. Yeah. <laughs> my face was bubbling. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Next question is, what are some silly things you remember my mom doing when she was younger? Oh. So first off, let's yeah. qualify. So you've known younger Michelle. From high school. From high school. Yeah. I just, my really biggest memories are of the girls in the choir. Okay. You know, being in the choir. Right, right. So that's, you know. Now, did I didn't you, have too much interaction with Michelle. Did you, were you a choir mom? Were you taking the kids to rehearsals and stuff No, like it was that? just at the high school. I, okay. I mean, probably dropped off, but that would yeah. be just Christine dropping off. But okay. I remember seeing them on the choir, in right. the choir. Yeah. Nice. Because Christine was in choir at the same mm-hmm. time, too? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All 
Alrighty. Um, I think this is the last question for this um, episode. So, what is your dream for all of your grandchildren? Oh, everybody's dream that they're happy. Yeah. And financially set. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. You know. Happy, money doesn't buy happiness, but it sure helps. It sure helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, you just want them to be happy, healthy, and prosperous. Well, and Silly I'll, as that is, but that's what it is. And, you know, it's funny. I'll tell you, if they have as many things that make them happy as you do, <laughs> then they're guaranteed to be happy. So I think that was all the questions that, that we had prepared. Did you have any questions for us? No. No? Okay. Well... I think that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us for this. Um, I think we'll give closing remarks to you and shout outs, and then we'll uh, do our contacts and call it a day. Like usual. So we'll come back with your closing remarks. Honestly, it's kind of hard to give a few closing remarks. I I guess... If I could give any closing remarks, it would just be to spend time with your family. Even if it's not really that big, just try to have some fun and enjoyment with them because you never know if you're ever going to get it again. Wow, that's depressing. Yeah. But, okay, sure. Okay. Any shout-outs? I'd like to give a shout-out to you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, Jima, thank you um, so much for coming and answering our questions. Um, I thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you for inviting me. I'm honored. <clears throat> we are honored by your presence. Thank you so much for being here. Um, it was nice of you to come all the way down, stop over, and then we can head into Philly. Yep. Before we go, though, we have uh, some business to do, and that is how you can contact us. So you can email us at comments at insightsintothings.com. You can get us on Twitter at insights underscore things. You can catch our video podcasts on youtube.com slash insights into things. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash insights into things podcast. You can get us on the web at www.insightsintothings.com. Our audio podcasts are available at podcast.insightsintoteens.com. And you can catch us streaming five days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash insights into things. And you can find our other two podcasts, Insights and Entertainment, hosted by you and Mommy, and Insights into Tomorrow, our monthly podcast, hosted by you and my brother Sam. And I think that's it. Alrighty. Another one in the books. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>